In this video, we will understand the difference between the term congruency and similarity of two figures and also analyze the mathematical conditions for similarity of two triangles. So let's start with the term congruency. Two figures are said to be congruent if they both have same shape and equal size. In simple words, if two given figures overlap each other perfectly, then they are said to be congruent. While the term similarity refers to the situation where the two given figures have same shape but different size. In simple words, if two figures do not overlap each other perfectly, then they are said to be similar. Though it may be noted that every congruent figure is similar but every similar figure is not congruent. The truth of this statement lies in the fact that for figures to be similar, it requires only same shape, whereas size may vary. Restricting our study to similarity of two triangles, let's understand the mathematical condition for similarity of two given triangles. First condition is SSS similarity that is side side side, which states that if all the corresponding sides of two given triangles are proportional, they are said to be similar. Consider two right angle triangles ABC and triangle PQR. If the ratio of the corresponding hypotenuse is equal to the base and height, that is ratio of side AC and PR equals ratio of side BC and QR equals ratio of side AB and PQ, then by SSS criteria, the given two triangles are similar. Second condition of similarity is AAA, that is angle 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 that states if all the corresponding angles of two given triangles are equal then the triangles are said to be similar. This condition of similarity also works even if two corresponding angles of the given triangles are equal. Since two angles of the given triangle are equal therefore by interior angle sum property of triangle the value of the third angle is always bound to be equal. Consider triangle ABC and triangle PQR such that both angle A and angle P equals 45 degree. Angle B and angle Q measure 60 degree. Therefore, by interior angle sum property, angle C and angle R are calculated as 180 minus 105 which is equal to 75 degree. Therefore, by angle 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 criteria, the two given triangles are said to be similar. Third condition for similarity of two triangles is called SAS that stands for side angle side. This condition states that if one angle of a triangle is equal to the one angle of the other triangle and the side including these angles are proportional, then the given triangles are similar. Consider two triangles ABC and triangle PQR such that side AB measures 2 units and AC measures 4 units, while side PQ measures 4 units and PR measures 8 units. The angles formed between these two sides are angle A and angle P measuring 50 degree. So taking the ratio of the corresponding sides we get side AB ratio side PQ equals side AC ratio side PR which is simplified as half. Angle A equals angle P which is 50 degree. Thus by SAS rule, triangle ABC is similar to triangle PQR. So this was it for the video. See you in the next one. Thank you for watching.